Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is still part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. And uh, this video in particular is part of my series on homonym horrors. So homonyms are words that uh, kind of sound alike but don't mean the same thing. And the reason why I'm, I'm focusing on homonyms for my vocabulary building lessons is because these things are, these uh, words are actually the ones that commonly lumalawa sa exams. Mainly because marami tao naguguluhan sa kanila. So if for example, I am creating the exam, I would use homonyms or words na parang magkakatunog to maybe confuse uh, test takers dun sa mga fill in the blanks question as well as yung mga find the error statements. Kasi kung, ma, kung ang gagamitin is a homonym of the correct word to use at hindi kayo familiar na magkaiba pala yun, hindi nyo mas spot na mali pala yung word na ginagamit. Okay? Now, uh, I also want to talk to you about um, bakit hindi ako nagpapadala ng list ng vocabulary words na commonly lumalabas. Kasi last week, uh, especially starting nung lumabas na yung mga comments ng mga teammates ninyo na nag-take ng October 2016 exam, ang daming tao nagre-request ng listahan daw ng commonly uh, used words pagdating sa examination. Humihingi sila sa akin ng listahan ng words na aaralin nila for them to prepare for the exam. Now, that is something that I don't do and I won't ever do. Hindi ko kayo bibigyan ng listahan ng siguro 500 or 1,000 words na kadalasan lumalabas sa exam. The reason for that is this. If you bigyan ko kayo ng list ng mga words, you would waste your time basically trying to memorize all of those words instead of, uh, alam nyo yun, matuto lang kayo organically kung ano yung mga words na na-encounter niyo sa toong buhay. Uubusin nyo yung time ninyo na aralin maigi yun, isipin ko ano yung meaning, i-memorization, lahat-lahat. And then, ang actual na lalabas na tanong sa exam, when it comes to language, mga siguro 40, 50 questions sa English, and then mga siguro half of that, or minsan even a quarter of that lang yung talagang kagamitan ninyo ng vocabulary words. And sayang yun sa time ninyo. Instead of you guys preparing or practicing speed math techniques, na yun yung mga bagay na kaya ninyong baguhin at a short amount of time, you would waste your time get, getting so stressed out dahil nag-memorize kayo ng words. So instead, I'm going to keep making homonym horrors videos. There are a couple of these coming up, so please click subscribe below if you're watching this on YouTube there is also a card that's going to pop up right here so you can subscribe para malaman ninyo as soon as the new video posts this video in particular we're going to talk about three words that kind of sound the same okay and again interchangeable siya sa mga tao na hindi familiar sa so ano ibig sabihin nila okay so ang words natin for today are allude elude and elude okay so, ang allude, A-L-L-U-D-E, yun ang first word natin, uh, that means to make an indirect reference. For example, if you are alluding, parang allusion, so alluding, you mean you are um, talking about something that happened in the past, and then you're drawing it into the future as reference. So, an, uh, an example of the na, uh, ng paggamit ng word na allude is something like uh, this sentence. When, when asked to define bravery, he alluded to his past experience as a soldier. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, nung tinatanong daw itong mama na to, to talk about bravery, nag-allude siya or kumuha siya ng reference doon sa experience niya in the past as a soldier. So, again, ang allude is to take uh, something that happened in the past and kind of bring it into the future, talk about it in the in the present, okay? So, allude is different from elude. Ang elude spelled, uh, ang spelling niya is E-L-U-D-E. Elude means to avoid or to kind of, ano alam niya, umiwas, okay? Or um, to cause something to fail. So, elude or to fail, um, it, me, it talks about um, ano yun yung pag-iwas or pag um, hindi, pag, hindi pagsasucceed sa isang bagay na gusto mong mangyari. So following yung track natin ng sentence, an example for elude would be, he talked about his ability to elude capture from uh, for most of the war. So for example, uh, again, he talked about his ability to elude capture for most of the war. So still talking about the soldier, uh, nagsalita siya uh, nagkukwento siya kung paano siya naka-elude ka ng capture, ibig sabihin, naka-iwas or naka-avoid ng capture during most of the war. Okay? So, again, to elude is to basically avoid or escape. Okay? Now, it's again very different sa word na elude. Elude sounds like both elude and elude. Elude, I-L-L-U-D-E, 
means to deceive or to trick. Ang keyword niya para madali niyo siyang tandaan is the word illusion. Okay? So, I-L-L, pag illude, may illusion, may form of illusion or my deception. Kasi, ang illude means to deceive or to trick using uh, an illusion. So, if you are illuding, okay, ibig sabihin na niloloko mo yung tao. So, again, following yung kwento natin itong lolo na na veteran sa war, uh, we could say, it took a beautiful spy hired to illude him for the enemies to catch him. So, again, it took, ibig sabihin, niloloko siya ng isang beautiful spy Inilude siya, ilude, yung say niloko siya or dinisive siya, gumawa ng isang illusion in order for the enemies to catch this brave soldier. Okay, so again, the words allude, elude, and elude are very different. You have to remember which is which. Pag allude, ibig sabihin, you are talking about something that happened in the past or somewhere else. Elude means to avoid or to fail. Elude, I-L-L, means to deceive, manloko. Okay, so I hope that uh, you learned something new today. Again, this is just part of a series. So if you want to catch up and watch the other videos I already posted, there's a link right here to the left of uh, all of the videos I uh, already posted. You don't know, you don't So here, uh, all the videos I already posted. So taas is the video series on homonym horrors for the rest of the others that I posted. Ko na. You can click dito sa taas. And if you want to subscribe. To this channel para as soon as a new video post you'll find out right away you can click right here to subscribe okay so there are more videos coming up and i hope uh, to see you on the next one thanks guys happy learning and aja aja kaya niya